Of the many promises that the Tonsillet government made during campaign is one on the creation of one million jobs. Over seven months down the line, critics are faulting government for not delivering the promise. However, Minister of Labor Ken Kandolo has disclosed that his ministry embarked on a process that would enable government to create one million jobs. He was upbeat that the promise will be delivered through a number of interventions, including skills development and entrepreneurship. At this point, Kandolo also disclosed that government will set up a special fund to promote local contractors. The Minister of Finance, in his statement, has told us that he is looking for a long-term bond uh, so that he, he can finance 15 mega projects uh, in this country. Now, obviously, if that happens, uh, we should see a serious uh, job creation uh, drive from that. Reacting to Minister's statement, MP for the South, Ishmael Onani, asked the Minister to provide clarity on why some shop owners are hardly complying with the country's minimum wage. Responding to Onani, Minister of Labor said his government will make sure that all employers are complying with the minimum wage. Meanwhile, the minister has disclosed that government is doing all that it can to ensure that about 40,000 ex-miners in the country get their financial juice from South Africa. I have put together the list of the ex-miners and it's a, a, a number of about 48,000 thereabout, uh, those who, who are eligible uh, for compensation. So I've given this list to the Minister of Labor South Africa, to the Chief uh, Chief Director of PS in South Africa. We've given to the Chamber of Mines in South Africa. We've given that list to the provident funds who are keeping the funds. Each one I give them that list. The idea is that these funds, these fund managers, they must look at our list and compare with their list, list of uh, members. So where there's a match, then they should uh, now organize payment. Uh, for, for our ex-miners. So, Parliament is in its fifth and final week of the five-week-long media budget review meeting. Thomas Ipiada, MBC, Lilongwe.